Okay, now, so I've drawn out the template for the front window and the side. And luckily the side I can just do twice and put it on the other side. So now I'm gonna go and cut out the cardboard and all that junk. Okay, so I cut out six pieces of cardboard. Uh, the first one I did were the left and right sides. That was nine inches by 10 inches. And then the ceiling and the floor were nine inches by six inches. And the front window was 10 by six inches and the back wall was 10 by 6 inches. When it comes to cardboard, I used a thinner cardboard. It is corrugated a little bit, but uh, you definitely don't want to do the double corrugated because I tried that and it just did not go well. It looked really messy. This is actually the back of my sketch pad, so <laughs> woo! So the cardboard I'm using is fairly thick, so even though I ran it through the Cricut four times, I still need to cut it by hand with an X-Acto knife. But the Cricut helped because it showed where it's going to go and it cut mostly about halfway through it I'd say. So yeah, I still needed to cut it, but if you have like a Cricut Maker or one of the tougher ones, then you shouldn't have to do this. But I have an Explorer so it doesn't cut through cardboard so well. <laughs>
for the windows. So I used this plastic sheet. It comes in 16 by 20 canvases that I get and we have so much at my job that my boss was like, yeah, cool, take some. So anyway, if you want to find these, that's where I found mine was in a pack of 16 by 20 canvases, but I'm sure you could find something similar. I just want it to be shiny so it looked like a window, so I'm just using hot glue and attaching those. on the floating candles woohoo so I got string lights that are battery powered I actually got them from Kohl's they were fairly cheap uh, now I'm using fishing line and I'm tying it to it and then I'm gonna poke a hole through the ceiling with a thumbtack and then use hot glue to secure it at the top so basically that's all I'm doing is just tying it and making all the candles you know or the lights go at different lengths so it looks like the floating candles experimenting several ways with the candles but I found the best way is to get wax paper and put the hot glue straight on it and then it just peels right off and you have a nice little candle okay so now I'm going to attach the candles straight to the light I just use the hot glue and put it on the light a little bit and then just hold the candle there and just blow on it until it's dry as you can see I'm using two books to hold up the ceiling I didn't want to attach it all and try to do this because it would be weird I found this was the easiest way to get it done. <laughs> also this is LED string lights so they don't have high heat so make sure that you get low heat lights because otherwise it could melt the hot wax. I left this running overnight with the candles on it just to make sure that this wouldn't melt and everything was fine. They were still there, nothing melted, it's all good. Okay, so I'm going to use hot glue and glue the hinges to the front door on the left side and because uh, I want it to swivel open. So yeah, and then don't attach it on the other side because we want it to be able to swing. So just that one side so it'll flap open. And then I'm just going to use hot glue and just put it all together. Just be careful when it comes to hot glue because you want to make sure you hold it there for at least a minute that way you know it's nice and dry and so I was just pushing it and pushing it until I knew it was dry and would stay. I also put it in the cracks underneath it just went in and just added even more hot glue just to make sure it was extra secure. moment I've been waiting for the ceiling oh my god it looks so good I'm so excited this project was inspired by the making it challenge where they wanted you to make something out of cardboard I was supposed to have it done by Sunday but I got it done by Tuesday but I'm okay with that Oh, yes. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wednesdays We Craft. We made a lovely Great Hall book nook. I'm so excited. Harry Potter, Hogwarts, yay! I'm so excited because the little pops I have from Christmas fit in there perfectly. I'd love to see if you try this yourself, so please let me know. I'll have the template from the Cricut below and also uh, the measurements and all that that I did. So yeah, I'd love to see your book nook if you make one. Yay! So since this is a Harry Potter episode, I wanted to show you guys this slime I got. It's called Luna Lovegood Spell. And it's from Songbird Slimes. She's on Etsy and she makes all kinds of cool slimes. But I'll show you real quick. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Okay, so this one has all kinds of little things in it. It's really fun to play with. Uh, she has all kinds of fun ones. So, and she also sings Borox to make them less sticky, so that's fun. So you should check her out on Etsy. She's a really sweet little girl who sells slimes. And she has all kinds of fun ones. My daughter Luna loves them. And this one, and they smell nice, which I was surprised because a lot of slime smells gross. So yeah, definitely check her out. Songbird Slimes on Etsy. I'll have it in the link below. Pokey, tell me slime ball. Tell me slime ball. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload a craft. Thank you so much. See you next Wednesday. Bye.